or on a property is competitive advantage if you can do that. You can typically get help. You can win in a bidding process or maybe you can get a little discount because they know you can close faster. Obviously there's no financing contingency involved and you can build in some instant equity by implementing this. However, obviously you probably, most people don't have the amount of cash sitting around for an investment property. The trick is, is most people actually that make cash offers and closing cash, they actually don't have the cash. So how do they do it? Well, we're gonna go through a bunch of different options. Some might make sense, some might not. If you have any questions, hit me up in the comments. Okay, first option, obviously if you have the cash, awesome, <laughs> closing cash. Second option, what most people do, is they use a HELOC. And a HELOC is a great tool to have if you're a real estate investor. It's, it's something that doesn't cost you anything if you don't use it typically, and it's usually at a good rate, and you can just use your HELOC and close in cash, and then maybe use the HELOC to rehab the property or what have you, and then refinance into a mortgage. That's what most people do. You can also get a loan out against like your 401k or against a securities portfolio brokerage account you might have you take a line of credit out on that and then you can close in cash using those funds third fourth option is getting like just a personal line of credit to help you kind of maybe you have you're buying a property for 150,000 maybe you have a hundred thousand in cash so maybe just get a personal unsecured line for 50. you can also get a high interest rate loan from another investor and use their cash to maybe close and again, it's a, maybe a high interest rate, some fees involved, but if you're able to build in equity and you know no cash out of your pocket out of the gate, it's probably worth it. So the other, the last thing that I've never done, I've seen people do it though, is they, they make a cash offer, but they have an extended due diligence period. So they end up closing with a mortgage, but they didn't put a financing contingency on there so have a, a bank or somebody that finances properties very fast, that can work as well. So hopefully that gives you some options on making a cash offer, giving you some options. If this helped, hit like and subscribe. Thanks.